Welcome to Reggie's Scrapyard, brothers. We're gonna do a little day in the life of Reggie. I'm gonna take you guys along, go you my daily routine. And we have about five cars to pick up. One guy, one farm, we're heading to a farm, pick up some cars. But first of all, we have this old Chevy from last episode. It was probably like a month ago. You guys probably haven't seen it. We have this K30 and I don't know, I gotta pile it up still. I'm just gonna grab this with the wheel loader and we're just gonna pile this up so we can get it out of the way. But what's cool, is Lambo Mods released a pack, and it was a long time ago, I think. He released a pack just for scrap, like, cars. What it is, is, like, he, he made all the cars real junky and took the wheels off and, and stuff like that. And so, what we can do now is I can take my Bobcat, and I can take my Bobcat, and we can haul it down to the farm, and I can load up all the cars, and you can actually grab them with the Bobcat. The cars are pretty light, and then I'm going to bring them back to the scrapyard. Customer's paying pretty good, though. He has, like, a couple of different cars, and I told him, heck, I'll take him off of his hands for $200 a car. So it's not that bad. And on top of that, when we go to scrap him, I get some money. Okay, so this telehandler last time. Now, I think if I remember correctly, I got like this aftermarket, not aftermarket, but a mod uh, lift to where this opens a lot more than the usual in-game one does. I think if I remember correctly. So this big telehandler has no problem carrying the K30. The, the hard thing is, and the K30 is this old rusty green truck right here that we got last episode. But the thing is, is can the grapple actually grab it correctly? That's like the hard part I always have with this. Like to actually lift it in air and grab it. See, so you'll see like it starts. Sometimes I can grab it, sometimes I can't. There we go. There we go. Holy crap, dude. I need to figure out something better to grab some of this stuff. Okay, so I'm just piling this stuff up. There we go. And then eventually we'll scrap this out. Now I started Reggie Scrapyard like a month ago. And the reason I brought this, okay, come on. We gotta get out of here. Okay, there we go. The reason I brought this back is because of the Scrapyard mods uh, that we now have, which is cool. Lambo mods is, he does all, he's one of the most like unique modders I've seen out there. He does a lot of different stuff. Um, and not your traditional mod trucks, mod stuff, just like regular trucks. There's a lot of cool stuff. So, okay, truck. Last time I had a Chevy truck, a 2500, and then I think I also had a Ford F350, but this is actually the Clover Creek. This is actually RCC map. Like RCC is literally on the other side of town. See that water tower over there? It's close to that water tower. We're not going to show you old RCC at all, um, but... I kind of got rid of those trucks for RCC because we ended up selling everything. And so the trucks got to lead off the map. And so I decided to switch it up a little bit. We got this Kelman's long bed. I thought this would be a perfect truck for this. She's a hauler. She's a puller. Old inline six Kelman's. And then, okay, so what I got to do is now I all of our trucks were going to be orange. And this truck isn't orange, obviously. So the question is, do I change the tr truck to orange? Or do I just keep it silver and just roll with silver for this scrapyard? I don't know. I got to figure that out. I, I kind of want to go like all orange and just have like all the scrapyard vehicles be themed orange. I'm thinking about trying that out, but man, is it going to turn this truck real ugly? Like, check this out. Okay, so this is what I could do. I could change this to orange, but then it's not going to look that good. Maybe change. Okay, you know what? We're going orange. We're going orange. That doesn't look too bad. We'll go orange. Yeah, I'm down. Orange, what about black rims? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I've, I want to look. Ah, I can't. Yes. Ah, I don't. We'll stick with silver for now. I think black rims might not be bad, but I always go black rims. And I forgot. Dude, I forgot about the cowboy hat mod. My boy Reggie in there. I guess technically I'm Reggie, but like he's got the cowboy hat. We got the cowboy hat on too. This doesn't really. Oh, darn it. Dude, this orange doesn't really match the trailer that good. That's my bad. Oh. Okay, it's like a bronze orange. It's like a golden orange kind of. I don't know. I think I'm going to change it back to silver just because it's going to look really weird when it doesn't match. I want stuff matching. Okay, I changed it to like a white. I think that looks pretty darn good. We'll keep it like that. It's not even the, the regular stainless steel like I had it. Okay, so we're connected to the trailer. It's probably going to be like a 10 minute drive to the farm. The farm's actually like on the other side of here, but there's no good road there. I do wonder what what's the fastest way to the farm? Cause that's a farm. Okay, so we are on our way and I gotta open this up and then we'll go pick up the, oh wait, shoot. You know what? We need the skid loader. What? That would have been horrible, dude, if I would have forgot that. No, 
There's no way. I don't think there's any way I can bring back the skid loader and five cars at once. I'm going to try to fit five cars on this trailer. But this is going to be insane because I'm going to be stacking these boys like crazy. I don't know if the skid loader can lift that high. What I really need is I need a 40 foot trailer, man. This, this, this little trailer isn't going to last us any longer, especially if business picks up at Reggie's scrapyard. So what we're going to have to do is eventually make two trips. And this is nice because I got like, I think I got the heavy lifting package on this. So we have a crazy amount of weights in the back. This thing should be able to lift up these cars, especially when like some of the, a lot of the parts are missing. Because originally these were parts cars. This farmer was, he was a farmer, but at the same time he was like the local mechanic too. And he'd try to fix up some cars. These cars he would use as parts cars and pretty much all the parts are gone. So he's like, heck, I'm going to start scrapping them. Okay, skid loader strapped down. Let's roll, boys. Dude, I need to get employees at Reggie's so when I'm gone, somebody can watch the scrappy. Actually, wait, did I have a... What I need to do is I need to just get a dog, a watchdog. We're doing that right now. Okay, we're going to do that right now, just real quick. Get a watchdog. I don't know what I'm going to name the dog. Can you, I should name him Chow. Chow. <laughs> I should name the dog Chow. Um, No, we're not going to... Probably not going to do that, but I'm going to definitely get a dog here. So animal pens and... Dog house. I wish you could come with me, but you can't. We've tried that in four. Oh, shoot. Wait. Okay, so what I'll have to do is I can't... Wait. No, I can. Okay. So I can put the dog in here. I was wanting to put him by the gate, kind of. But, like, something like this would work, too. Just right... Okay, right there. Now rotate him. I feel like I'm going to smash him with the wheel loader, though, dude. I feel like I'm not going to be able to see him. And then this guy, whatever it, my dog's name is, is going to be run around. Then we're just going to completely smash him. Here he is. I gotta figure out a name for him though. What do we name him? How about Roscoe? Roscoe. Roscoe. I'm thinking about that. Roscoe for a name. How about? Sound good? Roscoe from the Dukes of Hazard. Besides, like, he's a dog now. But anyways, Roscoe. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Reggie and Roscoe. <laughs> okay, perfect. Roscoe's gonna stay there. He's gonna guard the place. We're going to take off. Also, if you're watching this like right after I posted it, if you're watching this from a year, year now, just it doesn't really matter. But um, yesterday I didn't post uh, because I've been it, it's a tough situation. I've been helping Spencer with his house. And and some days I say like him and my dad work on his house like a ton. And I'm like because Spencer's like flipping a house basically. And uh, he said, and I always see my dad and my brother are working hard on it. Like I help Spencer with like all the landscaping retain wall, like a huge thing like that. But. I see him working on it. They'll work from like, you know, 6 a.m. to almost like pushing midnight and stuff. And, you know, they take, obviously they take a lot of breaks during the day, but they're working their butts off. And I'm like, well, here. And I feel guilty for like never helping them at all. So like once a week, I try to just take a full day and just help them. And then I can focus on YouTube the rest of the week. But I just, I feel guilty for like not helping them at all because they're, they're just working their butts off. And here I'm just, you know, playing video games or whatever. So I try to, I don't know, it's tough. Like I want to, it's tough because I did have to sacrifice like a day for YouTube, but or day for like not posting. But I don't know. I might. It's it's tough. I gotta. I the house will be done soon. Everything should be back to normal. So you guys should remember this from Clover Creek RCC. There's the shop, of course. Down there is the place where we bought inventory, and to the right is where we're going to the farm. But you guys haven't. You guys haven't. Nobody's seen this farm. I don't think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody's seen this farm at all. But the crazy thing is, I gotta figure out how to fit five cars, like I said. I do not know if this is gonna work, but this is gonna be fun. So once I'll get five cars, I'll get five cars loaded up, take them to the scrapyard, pile them with a big wheel loader, and there's, unfortunately, there's nothing that, like, I can't, like, smash them. I can't, like, compress them at all. It'd be really cool if I could toss them into a machine, they come out, you know, s s smash them, whatever scrapyards do. But I can't do that right now, unfortunately. Like, the yard doesn't... You can't do that with farm sim mods just yet. Okay. Taking a right-hand turn. And he said these are all just, like, pretty much scattered out through his farm. He said he was going to come out and kind of guide me through them. Here's his yard. It's a steep driveway, man. There we go. I wonder if he wants me to take any of that equipment. Is that do us fair? I, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Dude, those look like tractors from FS... 2013. I remember playing Farm Sim 2013, and all it had was these Dietz Fair tractors. I think I'm pronouncing that right. That's all it was. That's all the equipment was, and it, it like it was Farm Sim 2013. You were literally driving tractors in a video game, and I didn't really care because like this was like you know this was FS 2013. I was like 
what? I'm driving tractors in a video game? Like, I didn't really care about equipment. But, man, that would have been cool to have, like, deer back then. I think they had mods. It's just, I was crazy young, like, when I first started playing Farm Sim. <laughs> and, oh, man. Okay. So, here's the... Oh, okay. So, that's one of them. Okay. So, he gave me a rundown. The Ford is stained. The Ford, that's stained. That's a personal car. That car's stained. But he said... Hold on. Where was it at? Okay. So, there's... This van, this van is just junked, it has to go. He took all the wheels off of it. He said, this van is ready to go. So I got this van, I gotta load up. We also, now this, he, somebody burned this and he just had this laying on his farm for 20 years. I gotta take this. He doesn't even remember what, like, what brand it was even, what type of car it was. Obviously it was a car and stuff. But this has been laying on the farm for like 20 years. He wants that to go. Uh, what else? Okay, this Audi. His, uh, he tried fixing it up for his daughter. And it didn't end up uh, didn't end up working right. The wheels, one of the wheels actually fell off. And he was like, "This is a death machine. I just want this out of here." So the Audi's going. And then there's also this Ram 1500 that we have to take. He said, "Take this truck." <laughs> like all the tires are off, all these stuff. It is pretty bad. He said this has been sitting for like five years. And I thought there was one more car. Maybe that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it for all the cars. So, what we gotta do is we gotta load these up. Now, I gotta figure out, he said like, so I, I just gotta figure out a way to get these on the trailer and then somehow strap them down. That's the main goal for here. I don't know how high this skiddler can lift, but we're gonna be stacking these puppies high. So, I'm gonna fire up the skid loader, back her off. We got these, the CSM body like crazy extra long pallet forks, which should be good for lifting this stuff up. Oh gosh, don't get wobbly on me, skid loader. Dude, sometimes this happens and it is a mess when it gets wobbly like that. By the way, you guys looking for a PC? Check out Apex Gaming PC. Right now, the squad PC is, I think, like 750 bucks. But if you guys want, you can use the squad discount code. It's 10% off. Check out the link down below uh, to find Apex PCs or the squad PC. So, this car. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. What the heck? This is like, dude, this isn't even a car anymore. This thing is, what the? It doesn't even seem like a car. Okay. Well, somehow I gotta load this thing up. Let's hope, hope these pallet forks go underneath it. Oh, why are we bouncing a ton? Come on. Take these puppies underneath. There we go. I just need to get the car. There. Okay, nice. Now, hopefully, ah, uh, so it's a little, we need to scoot to the front. Okay, I think I got this one. Come on. Yes. Okay. Do not drop it. Do not drop it, squad. Don't screw this one up, man. Here we go. Turn. Turn. Oh, skid loader isn't the smoothest right now. There we go. Slowly scooch ahead. Slowly scooch ahead. There we go. We're almost there. This is going to be almost a good base to stack other cars on, too. Maybe this one should have went on the top. I just got to get it on the trailer, man. Just get it on the trailer so we can get back to the scrapyard. Okay. I know this is risky, but I want to get it as far forward as possible. There we go. Okay, right there. Okay. Okay. What the heck? Come on. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I almost bu bucked that thing off. Okay, so we're going to go to the other side and just slide it across and, like, center it on the trailer. Come on. Actually, it is fairly centered. It's just a smaller car, like, width-wise. I thought for sure it would be hanging over the edge. Okay, so slowly give her a tap. There we go. I'd say that's good. So, there's straps, right? And all these are strappable. Which means, uh, if I can get it on the trailer, it's going to stay on the trailer. Okay, next vehicle. Audi. Let's take this. Okay, I can't even get up on the cement. Come on. Dude, I wonder, like this Audi, if I could just grab from behind. Just lift it completely from behind with these forks. Because, think about this. The forks are, like, crazy long here. I might be able to just, like... Aw, oh, I hate how it's, like, bounce. Okay. Okay. Nice. Come on. Let me lift. 
Okay, I gotta get in there a little more. There we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, so for now, I'm just pushing this thing out. There we go. I think what we have to do is... Oh, shoot. It's on an angle now. So what we have to do is lift from the side. There we go. There we go. She's on. She is barely on. Gosh, I gotta figure out how these are gonna stack. Oh, okay. This is sketchy, man. At one time, this was probably like a fifty, sixty thousand dollar car, brand new. This is insane. Okay, I want to move, but I feel like this is gonna fall off. Okay, just rotate around. We should be good. There we go. Slowly, slowly. Nice. I'd like to scooch this back even more if I could. Okay, don't fall off. Come on, come on, man. Stay with me. Stay on there. Okay. I need to strap this down real quick. Come on. Give me a strap. Okay, I think it's strapped down. Here we go. Okay, we're basically just... Yeah, we're going to be stacking cars here. Now, I'm kind of worried about this. Because I'm going to be coming down with heavy cars. And then... Okay, let's go for the van now. I don't know how I'm going to stock or stock stack that Dodge on top of all this. I probably should have put the heaviest, the truck, on the bottom. Probably should have thought that through a little more. But here we go. We got the van. The giant van, dude. Am I going to be able to lift this even? Okay, let's make sure we're center. Not that center. Okay. We got to get over a little bit. Okay, we got the van. Nice. Now I need to get this back there. Stack it on top. Strap her down. And then we got to go for that pickup truck. Pickup truck should be the heavy. Actually, the van might be heavier. Okay. There we go. So far, I'm, I'm going to jinx myself. But so far, I haven't had a car fall off the, uh, the forks yet at all. It's been nice. Okay, slowly go down. I like how that hood closes. Oh my gosh, dude. That was horrible. Okay, I'm going to slowly probably poke the windshield out. Oh, what the heck? There we go. I, I wonder if it's going to strap down the forks too. Anyways, I'm going to try it. There we go. Okay, so that's on. Pull the forks out. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the only thing left is the dodge. And then we're good to go. Oh, <laughs> now, okay, so the dodge. It's, I'm going to have to like... Ah, this is going to be a mess, but I'm going to have to like stack it like pointing straight up like this. I think that's the only way to do it. I kind of stacked these really bad. That was, that was completely my fault. But here we go. Let's see if we can't get this dodge on here. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize how steep this stuff was. We got to be we gotta be really careful going through here. Okay. Here we go. Then, oh, shoot. We're just poking holes in this thing. I'm just saying right now, skid loaders in farm sim are just not good on hills. This Bobcat is probably the best skid loader mod slash in-game vehicle you can even get. Like, between all the in-game vehicles and the mods, this Bobcat skid loader is probably the best. Like, running the best. Not even just looks, but it operates the best and functions like an actual skid loader in real life. The other ones are kind of like, I don't know, they're a little messed up. Okay, I gotta find a way to pull this thing out. Right now, it's kind of... I'm just trying to drag this thing out, but it's kind of tough. Okay, I'm just pinning this to the shed now, dude. I'm just seeing... Come on. Okay. As long as I'm not, like, leaking... I, I figured all the gas was out, but as long as I'm not, like, leaking gas or creating any... Like, destroying this land, I think we're good. No matter how we get to the trailer. Okay, let's get on some level land, and I should be able to pick this puppy up. I wonder how Roscoe's doing over there. <laughs> Roscoe's doing good, dude. Anybody that comes... Hey, just a little warn. You stop by the stop... Or, stop by the scrapyard without permission. Roscoe, man. He's sicking you. He'll sick you. Okay, I think I got it this time. Now, again, I I never can grab it center. I, I always do a horrible job at grabbing it center. And I think this is somewhat center to where we might be fine. It might start tipping here. Yep. Wow. How did that not fall? Okay. Now, there it goes. There she falls off. Let's see if I can't grab it center. The center point is just between the doors. That's where I need to grab. Once again, didn't grab it that center, but it's a tad more center than the last time. As long as we can get this up here. Okay, here's the sketchy hill that I kind of worried about. There we go. Oh, dude. Oh, come on. What? Oh, shoot. Come on. We can, we can lift it back up. Oh, look at that balance, boy. Dude, that is insane. We are perfectly balanced right now. Okay. Holy crap. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, shoot. <laughs> there we go. Come back down. Nice. Nice. Come on. Come back down. There we go. Okay. So, 
Oh, shoot. We are maxed out on height. That vein. Okay. It, there's no way. What? Okay. There we go. Slowly. Holy crap. This fell into place perfectly. Now I'm going to toss a strap around that. I, I say we're good. We're just about good. Come on. Give me a strap. There we go. Okay. So there's a strap. Now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> look at this. Holy crap. Okay, I know something crazy is going to happen if I keep messing around and playing around like that. Okay, so something crazy is going to... Oh, shoot. This 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 truck's going to probably go flying, guys. I'm going to be honest. Unless I can pull my... Oh, dude. Look, the skill is completely off the ground. Okay, this truck is going to go flying right when I release this. Oh, come on. Come on, stay on there. Okay, all I need to do is pull my forks out, man. There we go. Oh, strap it down. Oh, okay. That is not legal, but we're doing it, dude. Holy crap, man. My name is Reggie. You expect me to follow the law, dude? There we go. Okay. Oh, oh darn it. <laughs> Look what happened, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we got to undo this one. There we go. Okay. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, so one of these is strapped down. I think if I pull... Come on. Here we go. It's this one. What? Dude, now this one appears to strap it down. Come on. Let go. There we go. Okay, we're good. Get this skid loader away because this is like a death trap right now. It keeps wanting to strap itself to it. Okay, here we go. Toss some more straps on. There we go. <laughs> Two little straps holding that truck together. Okay, maybe one more across here. Yeah, I say we're ready to head back. Uh, skid loader is just going to stay here for now. We're ready to head back, scrap these vehicles. I'll just get the big, giant Volvo wheel loader. We'll just lift these off. <laughs> Will the Ray and Bowler. That'd be cool. It'd be kind of cool if it squat just a tad more. Like squat, in case you guys don't need, know what I mean by squat, but squat, just there's so much weight on the front of the trailer, the suspension kind of sinks down here in the back. This one's pretty, like, it doesn't, it doesn't squat much at all. Like the F-250, if you get the standard suspension, holy crap, that thing on farm sim squats like crazy. Oh, we're leaving the farm. We got paid. We're ready to hit the road, and we're going to make a little more money from scrapping these vehicles, too. There we go. But the main thing is this guy had really no good way of transporting it there. I guess he could have tossed it like in his his big his red trailer right there. I think that's like more of a feed wagon though. Well, everything seems to be sane. <laughs> I can't believe that truck is still on there, dude. The way we did that, oh my gosh. I don't know how that's still on there. We're heading through town. Man. When we go through town, this load looks like a ton bigger on here. Holy crap. Well, Roscoe's been holding down the place. There we go. Hopefully everything's good. Nothing got stolen, hopefully. There we go. We'll pull in here. Yep, Roscoe's still there. Ass. And then I gotta figure out how to unload these cars. I don't think it'll be too bad. By the way, one thing, I don't know if it's coming from this or what, but you can hear like a vulture sound. It's kind of cool. I I gotta kind of sit out here for a little bit to hear the vulture scream. Wait, was it there? But yeah, it's it's cool. You can actually hear a vulture sound. Also, for repo, I'm building a new repo shop for a repo series. And I was thinking, I saw this idea last time, but I should be using this place for repo. That way we can have all of our cars that we like, not steal, but wait, there was a vulture screen. Darn it. Anyways, all the cars we take, oh, I heard it, darn it. Okay, anyways, all the cars we can take can be put in here. That'd be perfect. Okay, I can hear it. Listen, listen, listen. Heard it? Hopefully you guys heard it. Hopefully my game volume's hot enough that you guys hear it. But there it was. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to start by unloading this truck first. We'll grab the Volvo, we'll grab the truck, and then... Get this baby stacked somewhere along here. We have a lot of these same vehicles coming through. It's kind of weird. A lot of these same trucks are coming through the scrapyard. It's been a while since we've seen Roscoe, so we got to make sure we feed him. There you go, Roscoe. Come on. 
Nice. Good boy, Rasco. Okay. So, fire up the wheel loader. Hopefully, like I said, man, I don't want to be the guy that runs over Rasco. Or I mean, I don't want Rasco to get ran over at all. But I, especially, I, Rasco, watch out, man. Holy crap! This is probably a bad spot to put this. Rasco. Okay, he wants to watch. That's good. That's fine. Okay, what Rosco? Watch it, dude. Watch it, dude. Okay, so I'm, I'm probably gonna be run over Rosco. Like, but Rosco's not gonna die. It's just a farm sim thing. He's gonna run through the vehicles. Don't think I ran him over, guys. Trust me, it, it's gonna happen. I probably should have placed. See, he's gonna walk right through the wheel loader. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, so now's the time to grab the dodge. I kind of would like to just. I think the best way to do it is just to grab it from the side. Because the collision points on this are a little different than a regular vehicle, I know. Dude, Roscoe really wants to watch. He's just standing up close, dude. Just gonna get completely smashed by this truck if I drop it. He has faith in me. There we go. Let's okay. Nice. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna stack this one right. Here now, I've moved up the trailer like completely. Uh, shoot! Oh gosh! Oh man, that's not good. Okay, that thing. Oh shoot! That thing might be bouncing around, man. It's like a pinball machine in there. Everything seems to be like a bouncing around in there. Okay, so we're gonna undo all these. Hopefully, those don't fall off. I'm just gonna start stacking these guys. Okay, now this van. I really want to just reach over the top. And just grab this thing, dude. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to try it. Come on. We got it. <laughs> okay, don't drop this. Come on. Don't slip. There we go. That car's trying to wiggle off. It's trying to escape. Um. Okay, you know what? This van? I'm going to... Here. Oh, shoot. Why did I place a dog house there? Okay, so this is... Oh, shoot. Why did I place a dog there? <laughs> Oh, don't come. Don't come off there. Ah, it wants to come off there. Okay. We're going to just slowly drop this thing. I don't know how I was hanging on to that thing. I thought for sure I was going to come off there. Okay. Now the Audi. Just going to grab this. We got it. We got it. Nice. Okay, so this is something we can hang on to fairly easy, it seems like. i got to figure out a good place to stack this. Okay, Audi is just going to go right here. There we go. Darn it, dude. Those things, look at that truck. Just goes flying around there. This is actually kind of a tight area. Okay, last car. I don't even know what to do with this thing. This thing's been burned. I don't even want to put it, put it with these cars. It's going to be tough to even scrap a car like this. That's supposed to be the vulture flying around. There we go. Nice. Okay, for now, this car, I'm going to actually put this car, like, in a different area. Holy crap, I almost hit Roscoe. He just stands there, doesn't even flinch. For now, this car is going to go over here. Perfect. Okay, we got the trailer unloaded. We got everything back. Made a couple hundred bucks today. Sounds good to me. And then we're going to make some more money once we actually scrap these for scrap metal. So, this is just a scrap yard. We store these and eventually... Hopefully we'll scratch them. Right now, like I said, there's no mod to actually scrap these. But I wish there was. I wish there was. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Hey, I will see you guys later. If you've been enjoying some of the content, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd appreciate that. So thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.